organized by Illicit Mine and Forward US. It was uh, in NYU Magnet in Brooklyn. So it happened a couple months ago. So we'll be hearing uh, about Amy Saver from Malcolm Lewis and Susan Vente. In short, Amy Saver is sort of like a Dropbox. So think of it as an online platform where immigrants can store their important documents, such as a green card or birth certificate or any type of legal forms. This is to enable any family member to access those documents and retrieve them if they need to, to uh, for any legal procedures. So we will hear it from them later. So is there anything tangible that you guys learn out of the hackathon? What Susan taught me was something called wireframing, and okay. then we use a tool called Adobe XD to create a presentation for the uh, slides. Okay, so is there any other technology that you use uh, mm -hmm. for the Amy Saver product besides those two that you mentioned? Mm -hmm. we, we did a little bit, um, what you call it, uh, CSS and HTML to build the front end stuff, mm -hmm. um, and I believe we use Python, but mm -hmm. that's half of the team is not here. Mm -hmm. And yes. half of the team worked predominantly on the website, um, okay. the website that we showed. So that would be Olivia and Steven. Oh, okay, okay, the other two team members that are in your team. Yeah, yes. okay. And uh, what's the next steps? What's your plan for the future? I think we want to get uh, off the ground first with like developing an actual tool that we can show to people. Mm -hmm. Be like, this is what we envision. Um, and then after that, we'll be meeting with a lot of people both within the immigration community and outside to figure out if this is something that could be of use. So as an immigrant myself, I also feel very attached to it. And I do thank all of you, not just your team, but everybody who attended because I think it was for a very noble cause. Um, yeah. So uh, is there any last words that you want to say to our community, any inspiring words or message? Like, let them, like check in on them, make sure that nothing's happening, nobody's missing, like everyone's helping, <laughs> and, like, because that's real, it's so real, like, people go missing so easily, uh -huh. especially now, like it's okay. really crazy, so I think that would be more. So be more connected yeah. towards um, everyone surrounding yeah. you. Yeah, okay. within your family, but also outside, yeah. because like, yeah. specifically within your community, because too often within a community, we stay within ourselves, Yeah. yeah. but I think a whole community is a family. Yeah, and for you, Susan, any inspiring messages? Sure, um, well, I think no matter what age you are, no matter what gender, social economic status, just keep an open mind and, and make friends with people who are different than you, uh -huh. different than any other friends you have because uh -huh. you'll be surprised at how much we actually have in common uh -huh. and also the beautiful things you can learn, people you might not even look at sometimes and they can teach you lessons that nobody else might be able to teach you. Yeah. So just keep an open mind and reach out, talk to people, learn from them, be open. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think New York definitely needs diversity and inclusion a lot more, and so the whole Immigrant Heritage Hackathon is one of the good way to kind of promote that. Yeah, definitely. I've um, never seen anything like it before, and yeah. I'm so glad to be part of it. Yeah, yeah. So thank you, thank you so no, much. No, no, no. Uh, I'm sure that we're going to be in touch. Uh, we'll see you guys around, and I'll, I'll keep calling to figure out where you guys are. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs>